Today we are building a dice system that can be reused on any game project. Our logic needs to receive number of dices that we roll and also number of sides for those dices. Because in D&D system you don't have only D6, you have D4, D6, D8, D20, etc. So we can then roll our dices and we are getting the total score of all dices and each individual roll. First thing we are going to do is to create the logic itself. So for that, I'm going to create index TypeScript file inside the app directory. I am putting it here only because it's convenient to have it right next to the page file because all the front end is going to be here. We're not going to create some components directory. Otherwise, it would be probably in some shared lib file and we would pull it from there. But now it's enough to have it just like this inside the app directory. First function we are going to need is the roll dice function. And we are going to call it just like that, roll dice. And that one is going to return always the number. That is going to be random number. So for random number, we are going to use mat.floor and inside mat.random and we are going to multiply it by six for now. So that's the six sides dice. And we're going to put plus one because we want to avoid zeros. And this one should return us always the random number from one to six. And we can test that one out easily by going to our page. And here we can just call the random number. And that one is going to be our roll dice function and now we can just console log our random number and we see it's five i see it here because whenever i save next.js is automatically refreshing behind so if i save again we're getting the four and six and four really nice rolls so now we need to put here sides so how many sides are we going to have for our dice and we that one is going to be a number also and here we are just going to replace this six by sides and now here I'm going to put 20 for example and save so we get 10 18 18 then 4 this is the first like bad roll I had and roll dice is basically finished so we have the basic roll dice function that is working smoothly for us. Next thing we need is the roll dices function. So I'm going to create roll dices and that one is going to receive, let me just return something, that one is going to receive dice. So this one needs to be new interface that we are going to create. So here, we are going to export interface dice and that one needs to have same like here. It needs to have sides. So we need to know how many sides does those dices have. So that's going to be a number. And next thing is quantity. How many of those dices do we actually receive in this function? And roll dices function needs to return us total count of all roll results and each individual roll. So for that, we're going to create a new interface and we can call it just the roll result interface. And it needs to return total number and also all rolls. So that's going to be an array of numbers. And we are going to put that to be the type of result we need to return in our roll dices function. Now we are going to prepare our rolls, which is going to be the array of numbers. And that one is going to be empty array in the beginning and also our total value, which is going to be zero. And we are just going to return total and rolls. So that's our interface and now we don't have type errors and what we need to do is to go through each dice and then calculate all the results for the total and return all the rows. 
to do that, we are going to create a simple for loop where we are going to iterate through all the dices that we receive here. So we have our dice.quantity where we know exactly how many dices we have. And what we need to do next is just to call roll dice function that we already created for each dice coming inside our roll dices function. Here we just create a new roll and that one is going to be roll dice. Then we have our sides here. So we know how many sides our dice has. That's important. And then we just push that to our rows array. So here we have each individual row. Then we add it to our sum. So here we add our row also. Plus equal sign gives you it's the same like you're saying total plus row. And now we have exactly what we need. We have our total number count sum of all rows and we have each individual role ready for front end to iterate through it and to make it visible on the front end. So how to use it now on the front end? Here, oh, we, we here are like spamming everything. So here we are going to create two inputs. They are going to be type number. So first one is going to be quantity and the second one is going to be sides. Now we can create our state for our dice. So I'm going to create dice set dice and I'm going to use use state by react and our type is going to be dice from our index. And as the first result, I'm going to put size six and quantity one. So that's going to be our default value for our dices. And we are going to create a state for our result. So I'm going to create result and set result, which is going to be our result role. Is it? Oh no, it, it was role result like this. And by default, we're going to put it to be null. So here we need to place that it can be null also. Now we can just create some handle dice roll function where we are going to call our roll dices. So like this result equals to roll dices, this one from our index file. And we are going to put our state from here dice. And we are just going to set result to result like this. And whenever we roll, we are going to set our result and then we can display our result state in the front end. So now we can put here our values to be dice quantity and on our sides, it can be dice sides. So now if you check here, we are missing the use client because we are using the use state hook. We need to put always use client inside Next.js. And now we should have it pre-filled. Yes. Only thing is that this minimum age screen is making a mess, but we are going to create a new div and I can put some flex column and gap of maybe three or something like that. Okay, now it looks better and we have our values pre-filled. So now we need on change, we need to change our state. To do that, we are going to put here on change and we're going to use the event and inside that event, we are going to call set dice and inside we need to use the spread, op spread operator to put the dice we already have and the quantity should be the event dot target dot value. And this one is not working probably because it's possibly null. We are just going to put parse int on that one like this. Now it should be good. No, oh, it's not event. It's E like this. Okay. This one looks fine. So we are going to do the same thing for sides, except we're going to put sides here instead of quantity. So now we should be able to change our values. Yes, we are changing everything. So 
last thing we need is the button where we are going to press roll and then display all the rolls. That one is just going to be a single button, so we can call it roll dice and on click we are going to call our handle dice roll function that we already created. So that one is rolling our dices and that should be fine. We can test it out quickly so we can here put console log of our rolls for example and we can put total also and now here when we put well, side six quantity three and roll our dices here we can see that we have our individual rolls and we have our total number so it's definitely working that's a great thing so now just the last thing that is left is to display it on the front end and that one is going to be super easy so we are just going to check if we have our result in that case we're going to put a div where we have our total result which equals to result dot dot total and we are going to display our individual rows by just taking our result result dot dot rows and we are going to join it like this with we are going to display it like key like comma separated value and let's see how it looks so it's good let's just make it again flex flex column and some gap like this and we can put this inside some paragraph like this same thing for the individual rows just to make it visually better that's it okay final test now I'm going to put sides to be 20 and quantity to be 10 and I'm going to roll the dice and that's it. I think it's working. So we have 10 rolls, total result of 89, 83, 84, 92, 94, 97. It's working. This one can be reused on any game project. So next thing I'm going to build is the visual representation of dices. So you're going to choose D6 or D20, etc. And you're going to visually roll it and see the result in dices on front end. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe.